Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods for Minecraft 1.6.4. So, to get started, uh, you would want to start the Minecraft launcher. I just uh, deleted my .minecraft folder, like I backed it up. So this is pretty much starting from new. So you got to put in your email and password log in and then we're going to be installing it for minecraft 1.6.4 because minecraft coder pack and forge aren't out for 1.7 yet which i will tell you why that is later and uh, so we're going to select release 1.6.4 here and we're going to save profile and we're going to click play so now if we go in the development console we'll see it's downloading all the files that we need so i'll let that download and i'll be right back Okay, so the download is done, and it launched Minecraft 1.6.4, so that's all we need to do with that. So we can close that out, and uh, just for the sake of having a mod to install, I'm going to be using an experimental build of Industrial Craft 2. So uh, first off, what we're going to want to do is run Minecraft Forge Installer, which you can get right in this website here, which will be in the description. Uh, you will want the recommended for Minecraft 1.6.4, which would be right here. You can download the installer, or you can download the universal and install it yourself. But the installer is simple, and no point in really doing it yourself when you got this to do it for you. So if you run that, you'll come up with this little window here. And we want to install client. So now if you had a server, you can tell it where the server was, and it'll install it for you on the server too. But we're doing the client right now so we're gonna install client and uh, this is where our minecraft is so say you had it running off of a different hard drive you would go tell it the path of it there so we're just gonna click OK here it'll download all the stuff it needs and then it'll install it okay so it successfully installed client profile forge for version forge blah 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 into launcher and grab two required libraries so you just click OK. And now what we're going to do is start up the Minecraft launcher again, and you're going to want to run the new Forge profile. So we should see here, Zeoic is the basic 1.6.4. But if we go to Forge, we're going to click play to log in with our account. And then it'll say Minecraft 1.6.4 with Forge, blah, blah, blah. So if we run that, Forge will create all the necessary folders we're going to need in a bit. So now that this is running, once it gets to the menu here, you can see that Minecraft Forge is loaded, three mods active. That's a Forge mod loader, Minecraft Forge, and Minecraft Coders Pack. We can just exit out of that. So now you can either hit the Windows key and R to get to run the run program, or you can type in run in here and select run right there. And now you're just going to need to type app data and then click OK. And then you will get this window here. And next you're going to want to go into roaming. And then you're going to want to go into your dot Minecraft. And then uh, mods. And you're going to grab your mod right here, industrial craft. Stick it in there. And that's all there is to it. With the new launcher update. Even Forge is easy to install, but if there's other mods that require actually editing the uh, jar file, like uh, Optifine, for example, you're going to want to go to your .minecraft again, and then go to versions, and uh, say we're installing it for 1.6.4, you'd copy that folder, and then you'd paste it again, and now it's called 1.6.4 copy, you can call it 1.6.4-optifine if you wanted, say you're installing Optifine because that requires you to change the uh, um, change the actual jar file. So you would copy that name and open this, and you would rename this to that as well. And then you would rename this JSON file to that as well. Then if you open up that JSON file, you'll find this right here. You also need to change that. So you'll go and save that. And then you would go into this 1.6.4 jar and put in Optifine like you normally would. So you can open it up with WinRAR, 
make sure, just like old uh, modding, you delete this meta INF, and then you can put in all the stuff from Optifine into here, close that up, and now to actually use that profile, when you open up the launcher, you would go to, let's say, this Zeoic profile, you edit the profile, and you would use release 1.6.4 Optifine, save profile, and then it'll launch that profile. But since I didn't actually put Optifine in there, if I launch it, it'll just be normal Minecraft. But since it's 1.6.4 Optifine, it's not going to try to force update on you, because if you left it the same, it'll try to update to that version, and it'll just take out your mod. That's why you have to change it like this. So, that's pretty much all there is to it, uh, and you can install your mod like that. I'll just prove to you that the industrial craft is working in here. Okay, four mods loaded now instead of three. You got industrial craft two, uh, experimental. So we can go into single player, create a world, go into creative. And now we can see if it move that moves and we got the industrial craft 2 and we got all the industrial craft 2 stuff we'll plop down a solar panel move these leaves out of the way uh, let's grab ourselves a bat box wow this experimental has different textures that's kinda cool I haven't played with this experimental version yet might have to fool around with that and give you guys a review if you request it so, yeah, everything seems to be working, all the basic stuff. So the mod install was successful, and that is everything we have to do for that. And now for the question of why was I, why did I just show you how to install it for 1.6.4? Well, the reason is Minecraft 1.7.2 hasn't been out for that long. Hasn't maybe been out for a week, and it takes some time for people to take out the code and rewrite it because so many lines of code were changed in this version it's gonna take longer than other versions to update say bucket and Minecraft Forge and Minecraft coders pack so you're gonna to have to wait a little longer for that because people aren't gonna be able to update their mods if they don't have their API's updated for them yet now there are about 10 or so mods out there that people actually went in grabbed the Minecraft code and changed it themselves without any packs but that is much more inefficient than using the coder packs, and it's a lot harder to update a mod that way. So you're going to have to wait until the actual people that make Minecraft Coders Pack, Forge, and Bucket update their stuff before you can actually get the mods updated. So I hope that explains enough for you guys, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could leave some feedback down in the comment section below, that would be greatly appreciated. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.